Finding Spring by Karen. The forest was growing cold. Mama said that soon it would be time to sleep. But all Maurice could think about was his first spring. Spring, 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 he sang as they filled up on berries. I wish it was spring right now, Maurice told Mama. Waiting is hard, she said. Right now, it is time to sleep. Maybe you will dream about spring, Mama whispered. Soon, she was softly snoring, but Maurice was wide awake. I will go find spring, he said. What kind of animal do you think Maurice and his mom are? And off he went, searching for spring. Everyone in the forest was busy. I am looking for spring, Maurice told a squirrel. That might take a while, squirrel chittered turning to bury a large acorn. I am looking for spring, he told Rabbit. Not yet, Rabbit giggled before dashing into his warm burrow. Deer didn't even look up from her grass. I am looking for spring, he told Robin. Everything in its time, Robin said. Then she flew south. The woods smelled musky and there was something new and tangy in the air. I smell spring, said Maurice as he hurried along. Suddenly Maurice felt an icy sting on his nose. Is that spring? He asked. A beautiful crystal landed on his paw. Spring? Do you think that's spring? The crystal disappeared, but soon there was another, and another, and another. Maurice chased after them. Spring was hard to catch. He chased them past dry leaves, past bare branches, over the frozen stream. That doesn't look like spring to me. all the way to the great hill. Wow, said Maurice. Spring, spring, I found spring, he sang as he scooped up a bit to take home. Back in the den, Maurice snuggled happily against Mama. He slept and slept and slept. When he had woke up, everyone had already gathered in the meadow. I brought you some spring, Maurice announced. But spring was gone. Where is it? He asked. Spring can, can be hard to find, said Robin. Maybe it's hiding, Rabbit giggled. Deer just blinked. Sometimes you really have to search, said Squirrel. Let's look again, Mama said. So Maurice led them back through the forest. He saw blooming branches and bright green buds. He saw the rushing stream. Everything had changed and Maurice knew just what to do. To the great hill, he cried. And at last, there it was. Maurice had finally found spring. The end.